My name is Bear Grylls and today we're surviving in the wild. One of the most important things about being out in the wild is you need to find liquids. This is a perfect place to start. As you can see this canyon will lead us straight to liquids. I'm pretty sure we're really close now. Am I gonna get what I'm looking for? I am. Perfect. Now, you need to be very careful of snakes. This could be one right here. This one's called a stick snake. And they're very tricky because they hide in the fucking open and fucking bite you can't put them out. This right here is crucial to survival. You see this here? If you went to uh, Telstra school, you would know that that way, see how it points up a little bit like that? That means go that way to get to civilization. And this one right here, that means go down. That means you're going to fucking hell. So uh, let's keep going this way, shall we? This here, this is interesting because this is an ancient ant bridge. Now you don't come across these often due to the fact that not many ants can build. But these type of ants, the piss ants, were the greatest in their architectural skills. And they obviously built this bridge to cross small gaps like this one because they're obviously minuscule and fucking yeah, cunt. Yeah, look, fucking, I've been walking fucking hour and a half now. I think I'm lost. I may have gone the wrong way. I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah, fucking, I've got so long to go. I've just been following this track. I'm pretty sure it goes to Buxton. But I don't fucking know. We'll see. I can catch it later. Check this out. This here is a uh, wombat shit side. I don't know what kind of wombat shat here, but it really fucking needed to go. Now, we're back out onto the road, as you can see. After I was chased out of the bush by some fucking snake and long grass, and it just scared the fucking shit out of me. You can probably see this behind me right here. Uh, don't ever go near that. Although it may look like signs of uh, civilization, this is a trap set up by the natives in order to trick us to keep off their land. So that could be a real sticky situation. You notice how I was uh, keeping my distance? I'm about the road away. Yeah, don't go there. You could find all kinds of weird shit. They see this here, speaking of traps, this is the perfect example of a trap. Now, there's also another thing you need to be careful of out here in the wild. That is definitely your fucking boots, mate, because I've been walking for like an hour and a half on my fucking trip there. I've been walking for like an hour and a half. The back of me right foot is fucking sore. It actually feels like someone's driving a knife into my fucking foot 30,000 times a second, and it really fucking hurts. And um, I would not recommend walking home, but because I'm a dickhead and I don't have my license, I'm gonna just walk. I'm gonna have to deal with it until I get that. So, yeah, that's my fault. Try to avoid it if you can. Uh, on your mate. Fuck, all right. Just pick up, see this? This is a weird track. It said that the going down of the sun, people with braces turn into these. So you need to be real careful, stay quiet. This one hasn't spotted me, obviously. I'm just gonna slowly move over this way, get a better shot of it. Uh, oh shit, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Fuck, 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 fuck. So I've uh, just tamed the wear tracks a little bit. You know, they're a little less aggressive now, so they give me time to get away and back onto the road, she'll be right. But um, a technique used by the people that live in this area, by the locals, is actually from the 1800s, now what you gotta do is just grab a rock and put it on here. This has been a stitch up since the 1800s. Uh, I recommend you do this, try it out if you're getting attacked or chased by a wear track. But don't slow down or you could become lunch. Now this is actually serious. Um, there's a massive ass fly. I'll just try and zoom in without it fucking jumping at me or whatnot. But uh, that there, I don't know what kind of fly that is, but it doesn't look good. Uh, too nice to be around, so we're just gonna take just hope to God there's no more because that thing was absolutely fucking massive. So we're just gonna keep walking down here. Hopefully that fucker doesn't follow us and uh get to fucking home as soon as possible because I'm fucking dying. I've been walking like two hours now. Oh fuck gee. Another key tip to surviving is when you're on walking home from fucking wherever you are and you're like an hour and a half away don't go on your phone or you could get distracted by um fucking oh shit 